What is up, guys? Steve here with Scotch and Things. And what do we have here? Got the CRK, the Chris Reeve, the Svens 21. You know, so, oh, it came in a white box. This is my first, if you know what the video is, this is my first, um, ZT with a white box. I don't know what what the difference is between white or black. I'll we'll have to check it out. So white box. Here we go. This is the 0707. Just came out. I literally ordered it the day it came out. Ooh, ruined the box. Um, I was gonna buy a knife anyway. I was in the. I was actually looking at another ZT. And here's all your, your literature on telling you how to use it. Look, they show you the they show you the 0055. I've got that knife. How to open that with the spring-loaded tab? Oh, not as big as I thought it would be. For some reason, I thought it was going to be wow. I thought it was going to be a lot a lot bigger. So there, here it is, the 0707. Nice. So I was looking at, I really, first time holding this knife. So this came out, what was that, Tuesday? Not really a drop shot because of the design. So, like I said, I was looking at picking up a ZT. Get a look at that. Um, and it was actually the 450 CF carbon fiber. Hmm. Not sure. It's smooth. This thing is so light. It feels. It, it feels cheap. Does that make sense? It just, I, I don't know. It's just so light. It just feels, I'll have to get used to it. You know, to where, you know, this chunky thing's got some weight. Just satisfying noises here, you know, opening, closing. It's just got some good weight to it. This, you know, this is going to be a great EDC because you won't know it's there. It's just so, it, it, it's a very light knife. Um, so I was looking at the, the 450. Uh, my brother has it. I really like it. And so I was already planning on getting a ZT. Then they announced this was coming out. And literally I was driving home from work. Um, we'd spent 14 days on the road. This came out in the morning. I saw, looks, you know, there's the tip. I think it's kind of got a delicate tip. It's a really thin blade for a ZT. I've got, I've got a 005, I got the what do I got? The 5.66, the 0.055, and now this. Um, centering is dead on. Um, and this came out, and so I just said, oh, what the hell, I'll buy it. So I bought it. That was Tuesday. It's Friday now. Bought it directly from, from ZT. Um, I was, I like the style. I, uh, it looks, it reminds me of the Sinkovich. It reminds me of the 0450 and the 0452. That's just my opinion. Um, carbon fiber, one side, titanium with the milling, a uh, nice touch. So that's why I bought it. It just, it reminded me of those knives and it was new. So I thought, what the heck? Um, feels great in the hand. Like I said, it, it's a thinner, smaller EDC. This is, to me, this seems like more delicate ZT. I'm sure it's the same great quality. Um, you know, it's got the, the 20 CV. What do I got here? What's my serial number? I've got 
but it's hard to see. Number 84, so I've got a low number there, kind of cool. Tiny little pocket clip. I'm not, I don't know if I like that. Um, these are just first thoughts and impressions. Uh, deep carry pocket clip. I don't know, we'll have to see how that works out. I've got athletic shorts on, so I'm not going to try it right now. Um, you know, and they started doing this with the, I think it was the 308. I'm not sure if I like that opening. Um, that's just me. Really light, great opening. It's not going to fall shut because it's got, well, I mean, you can, I mean, so you can get it to, get it to go, but it's not going to be a drop shot blade. If you can see, I doubt you can see it in here and hear my kids in the background, but basically this has a double detent. It's got a double, there's a, there's a ball on this side and a ball on this side. And somehow, so if you're riding that, riding that lock bar, it'll still, it'll still fire open. But because of that, it's not gonna, because it's got two balls to get, it's just, I mean, it closes smoothly, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna drop. You're not gonna, it's, and it's not a very heavy blade, but see, watch, I mean, it's not gonna, you know, it's just not gonna fall. Um, I dig it. So here, here's the size compare. I mean, here's a Sebenza 21, about the same length. And I'm not going to give you the, you know, it's like, I think eight and a half inches or eight and a quarter inches. I'm just really blown away by the weight. I think it's like two, two and a half ounces, something crazy like that. Um, this thing is light. Um, I just kind of wanted to show it to you. Just came out, like I said, came out Tuesday. They announced it, or they announced it the day, a couple days before. They launched it Tuesday, and I bought it, and today is Friday, and I've got it. Um, look up the specs. I just kind of wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, rides on ball bearings. You guys can look up all that stuff. Not not a fan of the pocket clip. Um, not a huge fan of the opening, but it does give you some grip right there. So maybe I'll change my mind. It fits. It fits your hand great. Um, very comfortable. Not a thick, thick knife. So this thing's gonna be a slicer. Definitely, definitely a lot sharper than any of my other ZTs that I've gotten. Worried about the tip. Looks kind of delicate breakable um smooth it's very smooth all right guys let me know what you think um like i said it definitely reminds me of a sinkovich it's not because it's got if you look right here that is their symbol when they design in-house but to me that definitely has some Sinkovich dna it reminds me a lot of the like i said the 450 and the 452 definitely a nice knife all right guys let me know what you think like share subscribe um i'll do an update video after i carry for a while see how the see how the pocket clip lasts and see if i like that all right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.